Life is a journey that begins long before birth, at a moment when two cells unite to form the foundation of human existence. This is the story of life's most incredible journey from conception to birth. It all starts with a single moment, a sperm cell meeting an egg. Out of millions of sperm, only one reaches the egg and penetrates it. This is conception. Conception is the starting point of all human life. It happens when a sperm from the father fertilizes an egg from the mother, creating a single cell called a zygote. This zygote carries the genetic code for the baby, determining everything from my color to height. Within hours, the zygote begins dividing and growing rapidly as it travels down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. By the time the zygote reaches the uterus, it has divided into hundreds of cells and becomes a blastocyst. This blastocyst implants itself into the uterine wall, marking the beginning of pregnancy. Over the next few days, the blastocyst will begin to transform into an embryo and soon start developing into a fetus. By the end of the first month, the embryo's heart has begun to beat. Although it is only the size of a poppy seed, all of the major systems, circulatory, nervous, and digestive, are forming. Neural connections begin to take shape, and by week six, the baby's heartbeat can be detected on an ultrasound. By week eight, the embryo becomes a fetus, and human features start to emerge. Tiny buds appear where the arms and legs will grow, and the spine and nervous system continue to develop. The baby's brain is growing rapidly, and essential organs such as the liver, kidneys, and stomach begin to function. By the end of the first trimester, the baby is around 2.5 inches long, with all major organs in place. The second trimester marks a period of rapid growth and refinement. During these weeks, the fetus develops distinct facial features, including eyebrows, eyelashes, and tiny fingernails. The baby's skin is transparent, but over time, it becomes more opaque and thicker. At 16 weeks, the baby is about the size of an avocado and begins to develop reflexes such as sucking and swallowing. The baby skeleton, which was previously cartilage, starts to harden into bone. By week 20, the baby can hear sounds from the outside world and may even respond to the mother's voice. Movement becomes more pronounced as the baby stretches, kicks, and explores its growing environment. This is also the time when the baby's gender can often be determined through an ultrasound, as the external genitals are now developed. By the end of the second trimester, the baby is about 14 inches long and weighs around 2 pounds. The third trimester is all about preparation for life outside the womb. The baby's lungs, although not fully developed, are practicing breathing movements in preparation for the first breath after birth. The brain continues to grow rapidly, and the baby's senses become more acute, responding to light, sound, and even touch. The baby's movements may slow down as space becomes more limited, but they remain active, practicing sucking, swallowing, and even hiccuping. By 32 weeks, the baby is typically positioned head down, getting ready for birth. The baby gains fat, which helps regulate body temperature after birth, and the skin becomes smoother as a result. By week 37, the baby is considered full term, meaning that all organs are fully developed, and the baby is ready for life outside the womb. The final weeks are spent gaining weight and fine-tuning functions like breathing and regulating body temperature. The mother may feel the baby drop into the pelvis, a sign that labor is approaching. When labor begins, the baby prepares for its grand entrance into the world. Contractions help guide the baby through the birth canal, and after several hours of labor, the baby is born. As the baby takes its first breath, the lungs expand, and life outside the womb begins.